We are back with another massive game today. It's Nuneaton Borough versus Russia Olympic in the Southern League Central playoff final. Both these clubs have had fantastic seasons and have done really well up until now this season. However, today it's all about promotion to the National League North, which would be absolutely massive for either of these clubs. You know, uh, the step up to the National League North is quite big. You start to play some really uh, big and well-known clubs. Uh, you know, the likes of recently relegated Scunthorpe United, Darlington, uh, Kidderminster Harriers. And I would certainly say promotion to the National League North would benefit both clubs massively financially. It's a sellout at Nuneaton today. Russia Olympic have sold out their away end. Uh, Nuneaton Borough have sold thousands of tickets. So it should be a really good atmosphere. I've seen both sides play this season and I honestly think today could go either way. Russia Olympic uh, beat Colville Town on penalties in their semi-final and Nuneaton beat uh, Leaston after extra time. So both sides had quite tight semi-finals and I think it will be another tight game today. I will be meeting up with my uh, good mate Joe Skelton today as well. He also has a YouTube channel. Uh, we'll probably be covering today's game as well, so go check that out. But it'll be good to get him back on my channel. But if you enjoy Midlands football content, I would really appreciate it if you could consider subscribing to my channel. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers, so any help towards that would be massively appreciated. You know, I cover all, all, all levels of football on this channel, uh, from Championship with my club, West Bromwich Albion, uh, to non-league. You know, I've covered some massive non-league games in recent weeks. Uh, you know, uh, in this division, I covered uh, Tamworth's uh, promotion day at Redditch United. The other day I was at Hales Own Town for their playoff semi-final. Obviously today I'm covering this game. So if you love uh, Midlands non-league football, this is the perfect channel for you. But I really can't wait for this one. It's going to be an amazing occasion and a great advert for non-league football. I will see you at the ground. So in the ground now, um, massive crowd here already. Seems though it's still 40 minutes till kickoff. The ground's filled up really nicely. I, I forgot how big this ground was as well. Uh, I'm in the Russia Olympic away end for today's game. We've got half of this side of the pitch. But as I say, massive game for both sides. So much up for grabs today. I have a feeling this will be a class advert for non-league football. So look who I bumped into, Joe right, Scoutland. Uh, what did you think of today? It's great. I mean, the atmosphere looks it's fantastic. Fair play to Russell who are coming today. They have sold like four or five hundred tickets they've sold today. So fair play. You know, the atmosphere is going to be crazy today. I said, I said to you before we came here. I said this game. I think Nuneaton will either win it in ninety minutes or Russell will win on penalties. But I like a bit of drama, a bit of controversy, mate. That's what I want today. So. Fair yeah. play, mate. Definitely, yeah. hopefully, we see a good afternoon of football. Oh, 100%, mate. That's what we want. Plenty of goals, mate. That's what we want. Yeah, definitely. I'll tell you what, it's a sellout today. Uh, but the, the stand behind the goal over there is absolutely packed compared to the stand there. Uh, it's, the crowd isn't dis distributed well around the ground. I fully expect that an eaten end behind the goal to make some noise, but the atmosphere should be quality today. Moments away from kickoff. Really, really excited for this one. Good start for Borough. Um, Weaver, the uh, Russia Olympic uh, goalkeeper, came out well, made himself big, pulled off an uh, important save early on here. Been quite a slow game, uh, start to this game. Um, the tempo of the game has been quite slow. Uh, both sides trying to like uh, slow build up play. I don't know if it's a bit of nerves from both sides, maybe, you know, 
trying to get into the game. There's been a few chances. Nunu should have hit the bar from a, a free kick. We're sure good effort from outside the box. Yeah. Took one it for the team there, I think. Uh, the Leeton were in a uh, tactical foul from the Russell uh, 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 player, but a good chance now for the Leeton from the free kick. First bit of exciting end-to-end -end play we've seen in this game. Russia Olympic hit the bar at one end. Nuneaton Borough come down the other, counter-attacking. Uh, created a good opportunity. Very unlucky for Russia Olympic, I thought he was in. Yeah, as we approach half time, it's not exactly been the first half we was probably all expecting. It's been quite slow, to be honest. I'm not sure if that's been uh, down to nerves potentially, but the build up play from both sides has been quite slow. Um, when the Neaton have tried to go forward, Rush Olympic have broke up uh, the play quite well. Penalty to Russia, I have no idea what happened. Massive scramble in the box. Just what this game needed. Yeah! I Penalty saved and so was the rebound. Um, I, I tell you what, that must have been some amount of pressure on his shoulders uh, taking a penalty in front of that Nuneaton end. Those fans behind the goal definitely enjoyed that. Liven this game up a little bit though. I'm here with Joe, uh, what did you think of that first half? I think big cages to be honest. Um, both teams don't, as we've said on my, on, my, on my video, that no one wants to make a split mistake, certainly in this final, but I think the penalty got it about right, I think the referee got it about right. But keepers made some good saves. You know, you can't, you can't fault it because you know, the first one he does a jersey deal deck and the second one was better. But so much pressure behind there, it's been tough mate, but just I think it's gonna be settled by the one goal, I think second half, but we both said in, we both said prediction wise it's gonna go to extra time so we don't know mate it's 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 really exciting so let's hope let's hope for some goals and some limited second half. Hopefully mate, hopefully. <laughs> so half time uh, still nil nil. As I say, um major talking point of that first half was the penalty miss. Um you know it, it, it's one of those in it, uh, the, the keeper's the hero. Um, a lot of pressure on the Russia Olympic uh, player to score, but uh, the player's got to stick with him. A big 45 minutes ahead of us. Still definitely in the balance. I think in the second half we'll see um, the game open up a little bit more. You'll see pockets of uh, you know time periods, maybe uh, five minutes or so where it'll be end to end. Both sides will find that little bit of energy. But just like both sides' uh, semi-finals, it's really tight. It can go any way. Let's see what the second half has to bring us. That's oh, unlucky oh. there for Russia Olympic. Uh, the, the player did well to keep it in play, put it into the right area. He was in, in the right place, J just caught off balance a little bit. But uh, a good move from Russia Olympic. Post. 
massive chance for Borough there. So now that hasn't gone in, another goal line scramble. The game's continued uh, to be played at a slow tempo, a very similar start to the first half. I think Borough starting to create a few more chances than Rushall now, starting to take control of the game. But this game really does need, need a goal. I think it might take something special. That post, three header. Oh, what's going on here? Stand up, stand up. i tell you what, there's been a few of these goal mouth scrambles in this game, but another good save from the Russia Olympic keeper. Borough continuing to apply pressure on. Let's go for it! Oh. Wow. Still! Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. Keeper's goal! Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay, that's a good corner. Oh, 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 could it be? Oh, no. oh my goodness, Dave. Give up the spear. Two good corners in a row from Russia with their pressures switched. Uh, another corner here for Russia. Can they make this count now? The Russia fans uh, along this side are definitely behind them now. Here we go. Keepers. Oh. Keepers done well there. I think he knew. Just look back at the footage and tell you what may have got away with one there. I think, I think he knew. Yeah, it has hit his arm. Big decision from the referee. I think he might may have played it safe. Full time, 0-0 uh, going to extra time, what do you think? Massive call, referee, I think he's got it wrong, if I'm honest with the penalty. We've looked back on it, as we've said. But I think the game's going to be one on moments now. You know, you know, 30 extra minutes. It's just all about fitness now. I think it's been a long hard season for both of them. I think it's going to come down to it. I've said, I said in my video, it's going to be penalties. I still think it's going to end penalties. We'll see, mate. I'm very excited. Let's do it. Yeah, so it's uh, so a full-time nil-nil, um, big call for the penalty, we look back at the footage, it did hit his arm, however, I don't think either side really uh, deserved to win the game uh, in that first 90 minutes, it did deserve to go to extra time, it'll be very interesting now, uh, to see now, as Joe says, um, fitness will come into it, big talking points, obviously, Russia Olympic uh, did miss that penalty in the first half, will that come back to haunt them, I I'm not sure. It is a very important half an hour now. Away. There we go. Well, it's half time here in, in extra time. And uh, half time of extra time. That passed us by, but nothing really happened. Apart yeah. from the, uh, maybe a potential scrap over there, there's nothing really much that's happened. <laughs> no, no. Didn't see what the second half of extra time has to yeah. Pretty much, mate. Here we go. The game started to open up the uh, last five minutes or so. It's been an end to end. Brilliant save there from the Russia Olympic uh, goalkeeper. Yet again, uh, making himself big. Second yellow card uh, for the Russia Olympic player. I oh, know the rest made a howler. Has he? He's booked someone else. Booked someone else, <laughs> booked the wrong player originally. I don't think Russia are down to 10 men. 
Oh no, I think they are um, sending the, the wrong player off. Oh. Full time, nil, nil. Come on, you better. It's going to be very cruel on one of these teams. I, I hate when big games like this are decided by penalties. Liam, shoot, Liam. I can't imagine the nerves uh, in the Russia Olympic and the Edinburgh camps right now. I think back to uh, 2019 Aston Villa versus West Brom playoffs. The nerves, the nerves. Well, it's been decided and the penalties will be taken at the clock of Bairn. Come on, you Burr fans! Penalties to be taken in front of the Nuneaton Borough Ultras. Probably what you didn't want as a Russia Olympic fan. <laughs> The one penalty taken each is 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Yeah. And it's 2-2 two, two after two penalties. Uh, we've got a uh, hand to that. Uh, the needs a penalty but couldn't quite keep it out. He's missed 4-3. Uh, the captain. Uh, it's tough in here. Newton Borough miss. <laughs> Russia Olympic score and oh, they are pro promoted <laughs> to the National League North. More drama now. Hang on. So, Nuneaton have to score now. Yeah. yeah. Nuneaton have to score. Right the fifth. The And Russia Olympic have been promoted to the National League North. Absent scenes here.
it is a criminal offence to invade the pitch. <laughs> As I say, what an absolutely unbelievable achievement this is for Russia Olympic. Can't wait for next season. They're going to have some fantastic games. Oh, well. Right, so the game did finish. It was nil-nil after full time. It was nil-nil after extra time. But Russia Olympic... Uh, won on penalties and was promoted to the National League North. Uh, congratulations to every, everyone at Russia Olympic, not just the players, uh, you know, the fans, the chairman, all the volunteers. Congratulations to everyone at the club. You know, uh, there's a lot of effort that goes into these non-league clubs throughout a season and it's a massive achievement for this club. It's going, to be, it's going to be fantastic to see them playing in the National League North next season. I'm really looking uh, forward to covering their games in the National League North. You know, you'll be playing the likes of Scunthorpe United, potentially Kidderminster Harriers. Uh, they've got a playoff game, so they might, they might still get promoted. But Darlington, there's some massive uh, teams that will be coming to Dales Lane next season, and I'm really looking forward to it. In terms of the game, I think it, uh, you know, Neaton Borough fans might f feel a bit hard done by. You know, it was a very even game in the 90 minutes and extra time. Uh, neither side probably did enough to win the game. Uh, it, 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 in normal uh, in normal play, uh, but it's always harsh on one side when, when a team gets promoted uh, by penalties. But um, I couldn't be more uh, happy for Russia Olympic Football Club. I'm not sure this might be my last non-league video of the season. Obviously, I'll be going to Swansea away with West Brom uh, ne next week. But uh, if it is my last non-league video of the season, I just want to say uh, thank you for all the support on my videos this season. Uh, congratulations to Russia Olympic on getting promoted. Congratulations to Tamworth getting promoted. Warsaw Wood, Helzo in town. Um, there's plenty of teams that have had good seasons this season. Albert Church in the FA Cup. You know, Nuneaton Borough and Colville Town as well. They've had good seasons overall. Very unlucky uh, not to get promoted. I sort of let the scenes at the end uh, just roll because I wanted to, to just show everything, all the celebrations after the game to create memories uh, for these Russia Olympic players and fans. Uh, but if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Thank you for watching until the end. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.